Hey, how's it going everyone? For today's video, I'm going to be discussing the 2019 Ranger Raptor. The new truck was revealed at a Ford press conference in Thailand, and I think that it looks really good. But there's just one problem. As of this video, the truck will only be available in Australia and Asia Pacific countries. So the question is, will this truck be coming to the US? And if so, will it be able to stand up to the ZR2 and the TRD Pro? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest information on the Ranger Raptor, and I'm going to show you why I think it will be coming to the US. So let's get started. So before we look at the official video, let me catch you up to speed. This past month, I attended Ford's press conference in Detroit, Michigan, and one of the stars of the show was the all-new Ford Ranger. You see, the last time the Ranger was offered in the U.S. was back in 2011, so getting to see the reveal in Detroit was a really neat experience. While I was at the event, I asked a Ford engineer that worked on the Ranger about the Raptor variant. Can you tell me anything about an upcoming Raptor Ranger for the U.S.? I cannot. We can't. We don't speculate about future model offerings. So if you couldn't hear, I was asking him if the Raptor Ranger would be coming to the U.S. But unfortunately, he couldn't tell me anything. You see, last year, Ford made the announcement that the Ranger Raptor would be coming in 2018. But they haven't said anything about it coming to the U.S. At least not yet. So what exactly is the Ranger Raptor, and how is it any different from a regular Ranger? Well, to answer that question, let's take a quick look at the all-new Ford Ranger. The Ranger was brought back in response to the demand for mid-size pickup trucks. Companies like Toyota and Chevy have been doing very well in the mid-size segment, and as a result, Ford has decided to get back in the game. The new Ranger will come with a 2.3-liter turbocharged four-cylinder EcoBoost engine. Now, they haven't told us the exact power figures yet, but the 2.3-liter is available in the Ford Explorer, and that engine makes 280 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. So it's most likely the Ranger will make this much power, if not more. Now, the model that you're currently seeing is equipped with the FX4 off-road package. The package up upgrades several parts of the Ranger to make it better for off-roading. And although this will be a nice package to get, it won't be near as extreme as the Raptor Ranger. Just take a look at this clip from the announcement video. Look at how rough they drive this vehicle. On February 7, 2018, Ford officially revealed the Raptor Ranger. The truck was revealed at a Ford press conference in Thailand. But how is it any different from a regular Ranger? Well, the first thing you'll notice is the rugged design. The Ranger Raptor is bigger than the regular Ranger. It comes equipped with all-terrain BF Goodrich tires, which have been specifically designed for the Ranger Raptor. It also comes equipped with Fox Racing shock absorbers. These shock absorbers help the Ranger travel at high speeds off-road. And as you can see from the video, they're incredibly tough. The next difference is the engine. It's a 2-liter bi-turbo diesel, making 210 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. In comparison, Chevy's diesel ZR2 makes 181 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. People are skeptical whether the US version will come with a diesel option, but considering the fact that the ZR2 comes with a diesel option, it would make a lot of sense for Ford to do the same thing. The next difference is the design of the truck. You'll notice that it looks a lot like the F-150 Raptor, and that's because Ford heavily based the new Ranger off of the F-150. Details such as the grille, the fender flares, and even the rims are all reminiscent of the F-150. I gotta say, I think Ford did a really good job with the design of this truck. They took the great styling cues from the F-150 and put them on the Ranger, making for an aggressive looking truck. Next, we'll look at the interior. The first thing I notice is the performance-oriented steering wheel. It has a unique design that's exclusive to the Raptor. The next thing I noticed was the blue stitching. I think it looks really good, and it makes the interior look more rich. The seats are designed to keep you in place during aggressive driving, and they also feature the Raptor logo. And although it won't be available with the manual, it does have these nice magnesium paddle shifters. The one thing I'm still wondering is, how comfortable will it be riding in the back seat? I've yet to sit in the back of a Ranger yet, but it looks like there's going to be enough room. The Ranger Raptor is going to be an incredible truck, but the question is, will it ever come to the US? The Ranger Raptor is definitely going to shake up the midsize segment, but as I said before, Ford still hasn't announced an official release date for the US. But fortunately, spy photographers have spotted the truck being tested in the US. So let's take a closer look. Just last month, a spy photographer spotted the Ranger Raptor in the US. He noticed that at the front of the truck, a piece of the camouflage had come loose, revealing the Ford Raptor grille. This was a dead giveaway, it was a Ranger Raptor. But why would Ford be testing it in the US? We all saw how Ford tested the truck in Australia, so why would it be necessary to test the truck in the US unless it was coming to the US market? Let's continue. 
the last thing the spy photographer noticed was probably the most important detail. The steering wheel is on the left side of the truck. So if this test mule was not made for the US, then why is the steering wheel not on the right side? My guess is the Ranger Raptor is coming to the US, and this test mule might be running with a different type of engine. And even if these images weren't taken, it would be crazy to think that Ford won't bring the Ranger Raptor to the US. The F-150 Raptor has been a huge success for Ford, and now that the Ranger is finally back in the US, it would only make sense to release a Ranger Raptor. Remember the Focus RS? Originally, that car was only available overseas. But in 2016, Ford decided to bring it to the US. So if the US had a demand for the Focus RS, there would most certainly be a demand for the Ranger Raptor. And to top it all off, Ford needs to have a competitor for the ZR2 and the TRD Pro. The regular Ranger can't stand up to these models, but a Ranger Raptor can. And just think about all the time and energy Ford put into designing this truck. Not releasing it in the US would be a missed opportunity. Hopefully Ford announces the truck for the US very soon. So what are my final thoughts on the Ranger Raptor? I think it was incredibly smart for Ford to make the Ranger as a Raptor variant. The F-150 Raptor has been a huge success for Ford, and I can only imagine how well a Ranger Raptor would do in the US. Ever since Ford made the announcement the Raptor Ranger was coming, it was kind of a given that the truck was going to come to the US. The Raptor lineup is so popular here, and for Ford to spend all this time developing the Ranger Raptor, it would make no sense for them not to release it in the US. I think it's more likely the US release would get a V6 EcoBoost. That doesn't mean I'm rolling out the diesel option, but I think it's more likely they will release a gasoline engine. I currently own a 1996 Ford Ranger and a 2018 Mustang GT. So in the future, I could see myself upgrading my Ranger to a new Ranger Raptor. But the only thing holding me back is the fact that Ford is bringing back the Bronco. I really hope that Ford makes this thing look good. The renders make it look like the classic version, but with the modern twist. It just looks so good. So until the Bronco is revealed, I'm gonna hold off on the Ranger Raptor. And who knows, maybe by that time they'll have a Bronco Raptor. So what are your thoughts on the Ranger Raptor? Do you think it's gonna come to the US? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Neo Otto and thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to keep up to date with the latest car news, and I'll see you real soon.